Yeah, hi, it's Tuesday. The topic that Seth chose was um, specifically what foods help you increase testosterone and what foods are stereotypically male or female. Um, this topic for me um, it has been something that I have been very interested in since the get-go with my transition. It's also a topic that was brought up in the discussion group last month and um, is kind of there was some dis disagreeing going on about it. So I'm just going to say what I think, which is all I can do. And hopefully it'll go over a little bit better than some of the things I've said in the past. But if not, then oh well, um, I, it's all open for discussion. <laughs> They're working on the radio. So yeah, when I came out, I, I had the same question. I really wanted to know what what can I do right now to further my transition without a prescription for testosterone? And, um, you know, some people will tell you that there's nothing you can do. They'll say that in order to increase your testosterone, you'd have to, like, poison yourself with the amount of, like, foods that you'd be eating that they say increase testosterone or something. But, see, these people um, are skeptical, and I am a positive thinker. <laughs> Um, and I don't really think it's as impossible as some people will tell you. Um, according to this article right here, it's definitely possible. And, you know, there are a lot of uh, female-bodied people who want to increase their testosterone levels because when women go through menopause, their testosterone levels um, drop and like they start losing their hair and stuff. So it's it's not a question that is off limits. There's a lot of information about it. Um, you're gonna find a lot of different information on it if you do your research. But what I found the really the best thing to do, the thing that seems the most legit to me, is to pay attention to what you're eating and more stay away from the foods that you don't want to be eating. Not like searching high and low for what's going to give me like massive amounts of testosterone because the only thing that's going to give you massive amounts of testosterone is the bioidentical testosterone or, you know, that androgel or, or a prescription from a doctor. Even a testosterone booster, like, may not work. It may be um, a placebo effect in some cases, but I'm not sure that, that that's a negative thing. You know, when I first came out and I was doing this research, I found a website that said to eat orange and yellow foods and um, ginseng, vitamin C, zinc, magnesium, um, well, uh, B12. And um, whether or not that increased my testosterone levels, I'll never know. But I do know that it made me feel better. And... Um, you know, staying away from soy, like some people say black licorice. Um, there's a lot of different things. Hawthorne, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you guys are into herbs or supplements and stuff like that. But just being good to your body and paying attention and more of staying away from the foods that are going to boost estrogen or mimic estrogen. That'll help your, your natural testosterone stay level and um, not, you know give you any more of like that womanly shape or like um you know prohibit facial hair or um sex drive or whatever foods that are stereotypically male or female phallic you could uh should i ask the peanut gallery and see what they have to say what foods do you think are stereotypically male or female <laughs> Audra's face. <laughs> Zucchini, squash. Phallic. Yes. Yeah, that's what I said too. Uh, when I think of female uh, foods, I think of a nice peach. Pears. Pear. Not so much pear, but peach. Apple bottom. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> what? That's a silly question. Isn't it though? Yeah. No offense. <laughs> no offense, Seth. I saw this song. Um... I saw this cookbook in the store the other day about like how to like how to cook as a man or something like that. It was all this like you know barbecue food and like steaks oh, yeah. and stuff. How to get like sauce that. all over the place. I, I mean, love steak and I love yeah, so that doesn't really mean bacon cheeseburgers. 
Oh God, let's not go with Carl's Jr. I don't want no, those the commercials for Carl's Jr. where they're like all like ah, nah, nah, nah. you know like salads with yeah. flower petals and things like that. Um, we flower guys don't petals. typically eat that, I guess. I don't know. It's kind I of saw you eat flower petals. Well, I'm not a typical guy, am I? No, you're pansexual. <laughs> <laughs> Queer. Fucking queers. I don't know. The most manly man I think I knew would be Mark, and he like barbecued um, spam. And what his favorite thing would be would be barbecuing the spam, and he'd put pineapple and this weird gross. Debris it's like stuff. Hawaiian, right? Yeah, he's Hawaiian, and and um, he'd wrap it in those banana leaves outside and steam right. it, right. and then steamed rice and vegetables. It's a man's meal. Like a roasted pig would be like a that would be like a man. Right. So just a good. whole roasted pig on yeah. a stick. Just yeah. eat it right off the stick. Yeah, just like that, yeah. I've done that. <laughs> 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 Alright. Thanks, guys. So, I don't know if any of that was helpful or not. I'm super into this whole food and, and herbal supplementing thing, and I haven't learned all that there is to learn just yet. So, if I'm wrong about anything, just... You know, kick me right in the balls, bye.